Hey, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at Bitcoin Cash. It was requested by one of the viewers. So, yeah, uh, I do want to say that I'm not a financial advisor, though. Anything I say on this channel is strictly my opinion. You should do your own research before investing money into crypto. So, jumping into Bitcoin Cash, uh, I laid out the FIP straight away on the weekly chart from the swing high in May to the swing low in June. And we got the 1.618 sitting at $4,072, uh, $4, right? And that will be our bull market and target. That is the technical target from this impulsive wave. So you come down, come up in a wave, you come back down for retracement, and that's where you potentially get. And that's where projects usually end up after, uh, after they have reached this local high over here. And this is... I believe this is the all time high. I don't have enough data on Bitcoin Cash over here. This is uh, on the Binance chart, I believe. So, yeah, this is this is Binance. So there may be data before that. I haven't looked into Bitcoin Cash all that much. I'm just taking a look at it from a technical analysis standpoint. So if we take a look at the stochastic RSI, it's looking very it's looking pretty good to buy because Right now, you got the bullish cross on the stochastic RSI over here, as you can see. So this bullish cross indicates that the movement to the upside has started and you're potentially reversing the trend. And once you start getting to this overbought zone over here, as you can see, it has been there three times. One, two, three. And every time it got there, it had a pullback. So once you get up here, that's where you want to be selling. And keep in mind, you can be staying in this oversold area on the stochastic RSI for a couple of months before you have that initial sell off. So just have your exit strategy ready. Know where you want to sell. And yeah, now taking a look at the MACD, we can see that we have a bearish cross in the, in the making right now. Well, not in the making. We actually got a bearish cross. And that is your confirmation of the downtrend on the MACD since it's a lagging indicator. And you look for the MACD uh, for confirmation, right? You don't look at it for some live feedback. You look at the EMAs for live feedback, okay? The MACD just gives you a confirmation of this downtrend. So this downtrend that we had over here, this move towards the downside that was when you got the bearish cross that is why you got the bearish cross in the macd now if you start coming back up and hitting these fib levels and breaking them as resistance that's when you're going to see the bullish cross occur on the macd and that will be your, your confirmation so if you're sitting on the sidelines wondering whether you want to buy into bitcoin cash or not look at the macd look for the moving average the yellow line to cross the signal line okay I have the settings a bit different on the MACD. That's why the colors a bit are a bit different from the ones you potentially have. But you have to use the MACD with some other indicators. So the stochastic RSI is telling me it's a good buy. The RSI is looking very good. You can see that we had multiple bounces from this level over here, as you can see. Right there, multi-month support, actually multi-year support trend line over here and if you if you bring it up even here you can see that we're just bouncing off this level like it's nothing and it, it, it's good this is good look one two three four five uh almost five bounces over here so this is a good support level and we just had a bounce from there and once you can see once you have a bounce from there you usually end up with a move towards the upside over here and a move towards the upside over here so what we're waiting for is a move towards the upside over here and we'll see we'll see how far can that go uh we're going to take a look at at some at some closer time frames uh, smaller time frames i mean for some detailed ta but right now you can see that we bounced off and on the weekly chart just like on the stochastic r side you want to be looking for the over uh, the overbought over here once you get above the index of 70 okay once you get above this area here that's where you want to be selling because that's the oscillator telling you hey buddy it's overbought you want to get out of your positions because keep in mind you're going to have a bear market okay you're going to have a bear market and it may be not as nasty as the previous bear markets i understand that but there will be a bear market there will be a sell-off and there is just not enough mass adoption just yet for that to to not to happen okay you see what i'm saying here 
Now, taking a look at the weekly chart, you can see that we have an inverse head and shoulders pattern playing out, which is a bullish pattern. It's a pattern that gives us a target of $1,200, pretty much the 0 0.786 on this Fib retracement over here. Okay, $1,200, pretty much that's what you're looking at if you break above this resistance line. And this resistance line ideally co aligns with the 0 0.5 over here on the Fib. And the 0 0.5 is a very, very important Fib level, one of the hardest Fib levels to get through. Uh, after the uh, 0 0.618, obviously. So once you start, once you see break, you once you see you you're breaking the 0 0.5, right? You're breaking out as resistance and back testing as support, and you're opening up candles on the weekly and on the daily chart above this trend line, above this resistance that I have. That means that you are in a technical target of one thousand and two hundred and and seven dollars, pretty much. Okay. Because if you come up and have a wick above this area and break down, you're not you're not completing the pattern, okay? And if you want to invalidate the pattern, or should I say how you invalidate the pattern is by losing this low. So you, you have a low over here, okay? So if you start losing this low and you come back down and Bitcoin corrects and that brings the alts down, and you start losing this multi-month support line that you have over here and you lose it as support you break down that is when you are invalidating the head and shoulders pattern the inverse head and shoulders pattern or even if you just bounce off this level you're not creating that uh, right shoulder but right now the right shoulder is intact we're getting above the 20 ma slowly but surely we're going to get there we're wicking above there showing there is some bull power in it still left and it, it just shows that the the bears are really selling this project right now but once you start getting above the 20 ema on the weekly chart that's when you're going to see the the start of the uptrend basically okay and keep in mind if you start losing this this multi-month trend line that's potentially the bear market for you because you'll be losing the 55 ema on the weekly obviously and you will be losing this structural support this multi-month support line and then you're going to be looking for the swing high and swing lows to look forward to but uh like i said if if, if this is the bear if this is the rollover you're looking for a 95 percent correction on all altcoins and a 95 percent correction for bitcoin cash would bring it down to 90 dollars okay and, and and that would invalidate all our targets over here obviously so you want to hold support and you want to uh, get above the 20 EMA on the weekly chart. Now let's jump into the daily chart and see what's going on over there. So on the daily chart, we're just about to get the bullish cross over here, as you can see, where the 20 EMA is crossing above the 55 EMA, which is the red line over here. And once you see that cross, that is your confirmation of an uptrend. Okay. So if you're looking to buy, wait for that bullish cross. Obviously, you want to be buying. Uh, in these dips over here you want to be buying these lows because from that low right now um uh, you can see that the appreciation was 35 percent pretty much so you want to be buying the dips but if you want to look for confirmations then obviously yeah you want to you want to look for the bullish cross on the daily chart so the rsi is looking very healthy on the daily chart as well we're not having any movements though i do want to show you this resistance line over here so this is something that you want to keep an eye on because you had two bounces off this level over here. That's one and that's two. So two rejections from this resistance line. Now, what you can be looking for is if you start coming back up and you hit this level, that is where you, where you may get rejected. OK, so that's why you want to uh, keep an eye on the RSI and potentially have some sell orders ready when the RSI starts creeping up to that resistance line because you may get rejected. Now on the daily chart, we have started the move towards the downside. And this is potentially your signal that you're going to have a pullback. And if you're looking for a pullback on the on the daily chart, then look no further than the 20 EMA. Now, if we start losing the 20 EMA and we have a, a, a correction, you know, across the market, look for the 0 0.236 to hold support. OK, five hundred and forty dollars. If that doesn't hold, look for the previous swing low. The previous swing low over here is sitting at $469.
So if that does happen and you get the 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 support and you hold this support in, in, in case of a correction, that gives you a nice double bottom pattern. OK, so, yeah. And, and if you lose it, then obviously you're coming back down to this trend line and to this fib at three hundred and eighty two dollars. So a, a lot of patterns in play, obviously, but you, you do want to see you want to see these levels hold right and. Yeah, let's let's take a look at the MACD over here. So the MACD is about yeah, it, it actually has made a bullish cross. So that's your confirmation for an uptrend. But right now, as you can see, it already started curling down for that bear cross. OK, so you want to just take a look at the price action and all these indicators together to get an idea of what potentially could happen. So the stock RSI is telling you that there's going to be a pullback because it has started reversing and you want to be entering when you're down here. OK, so potentially wait for the stochastic RSI on the daily chart to reset, come back to the oversold. That's where you buy back in. OK, so that's your really important indicator. And if you start getting a bullish cross and and, and you start uh, getting overextended from the EMAs and the stochastic RSI doesn't Come back down to the oversold and what it can do actually is just have a reversal midway through and come back up to the oversold okay obviously price action is king but these indicators just give you an idea of what can happen and where you can expect the pullback or where can you expect to come back up let me just bring up a fib level a nice fib retracement over here for you to see what we can potentially do so uh, yeah, from this swing high to this swing low, you can see that you almost got to the golden ratio. So this golden ratio is going to be a very, very strong resistance level and it co-aligns with the 0 0.382 over here. So I'm going to mark this as a nice area that's going to have a lot of resistance and you want to get through this area if you're going to take out the previous local high at $803. So once you take out the golden ratio, you're looking very good to take out the previous local high and the impulsive wave target from there is $1,122 on this smaller fib. So yeah, I'm just going to lay this price tag over here and we're going to get rid of the fib. As you can see, yeah, hold on. Uh, we couldn't get through the 0 0.5 over here and now we're holding the 382 as support. So you have to hold support. You have to break this 0 0.5 as resistance because if you see it come up one more time, hit its head and roll over, you can put some buy orders at the 382 and below that at the 0 0.236. That's $576 and $532 respectively. But yeah, overall, I think Bitcoin Cash is is one of those projects that just follows Bitcoin and it doesn't have I, I really have no idea what Bitcoin Cash is other than it's a payment, right? It's a payment coin. I've never really dived. And I never really dove into it. So, yeah, maybe I'll do a breakdown of that project. But other than that, you have your resistance levels, you have your support levels, you have your long term targets over here, which I think are going to be met at one thousand and two hundred dollars. So. Yeah, thank you for watching, guys. I'm going to catch you in the next one. Peace out.